All right, everyone. It is finally time to get started with the React Redux library. Over the past couple of videos, we have learned the different concepts in Redux. Now, it is time to understand how those concepts work with React. The first project we are going to implement with React is our Cake Shop application. Let's recollect the scenario. We start off with our application, which is now a simple React application. The state of the application is maintained separately in the Redux store. Our application is always subscribed to this Redux store. However, the app cannot directly update the state. If the application wants to update the state, it has to emit or dispatch an action. Once an action has been dispatched, the red user then handles that action and updates the current state. As soon as the state is updated, the value is then passed on to the application because the app is subscribed to the store. This is pretty much our cake shop application where the Redux store holds the number of cakes as the application state. Now let's implement this scenario with React. We are going to take things one step at a time. So in this video, we will just set up the project with the necessary packages and add some UI elements. We will implement the different parts of the app in the subsequent videos. If I go back to VS Code, you can see that I have already created a React application using create React app. I did that because it takes quite some time to create a new project. For you guys though, in the terminal, run the command npx create-react-app followed by the project name which is react redux demo. When this command completes, you should have the same project as I do. Next, we install the two required packages. npm install redux space react hyphen redux. This will install both the libraries for use in our project. Next, within the source folder, I'm going to create a new folder called components. Within the folder, I am going to create a new file called cakecontainer.js. Within the file, I am going to use the snippet rfce to create a functional component. For the JSX, for now, I am simply going to add an h2 tag that says number of cakes and a button that says buy cake. Finally, in app.js, I'm going to remove the header tag and include the cake container component. And that pretty much is all the setup we need. If I now open the terminal and run the command npm start, you should see the heading and the button in the browser. In the next video, let's add actions to our cake shop application.